Nationally acclaimed Hippocrates Institute launches its first ever week-long retreat program at the Mayacamas Ranch in the town of Calistoga in the beautiful Napa Valley this November. This intensive retreat includes eating organic living food in its purest form, as well as kitchen techniques and instruction, private consultations with licensed health professionals, and blood work analysis. Also included is massage, deep infrared sauna, and other healing therapies, lifestyle classes, plus exercise classes, yoga, and meditation. Space is limited, so enroll now in one or two weekly programs set for November 7th through 13th or November 14th through 20th. Call today, 561-471-8876, extension 177, for more information. That's 561-471-8876, extension 177. Welcome back. I'm speaking with Anne Louise Gittleman. She's the author of the new book called Zapped, Why Your Cell Phone Shouldn't Be Your Alarm Clock and 1,268 Ways to Outsmart the Hazards of Electronic Pollution. Well, um, before we get to the um, some of the solutions, you know, I wanted to just talk about, I, I was fascinating about how you provided information about some of the unsuspecting places where being zapped, you know, like to check to see what's on the other side of your wall that that where your bed is for example if you have your refrigerator there you could be receiving a heavy dose of EMFs so talk a little bit about um what you call electronic feng shui <laughs> my my fa- I love that term yeah. Don't you love it yes i love it <laughs> <laughs> well, what we've learned is that walls don't stop magnetic fields, and that it's true, Beth. The back of the refrigerator is emitting a huge field of these electromagnetic frequencies, and they can go right through those walls. So if your family room shares a wall with a refrigerator, make sure that you move the sofa. And you'll see that with your little transistor radio, you know, home assessment. Mm-hmm. Um, I do believe that by all means you should stay out of the kitchen when your microwave is, is in use. Uh, with many of the sophisticated meters that I have used, practically every single one of them leaks. Wow. So nobody is aware of that. Mm-hmm. Um, that was very surprising as far as I'm concerned. Um, don't cradle that laptop. Right. You know, we tell people it is a laptop, but I wouldn't ever use it on your lap at any time because you you don't want to start radiating your reproductive organs. And that, in fact, is is what starts to happen. And then when it comes to children, Mm -hmm. this is where I really get crazy. Um, They're exposed to electropollution in the womb. Yes. I mean, if, if you think about it, the fetus spends 40 weeks essentially floating in a sack of water, and water is a very well-known conductor of these electromagnetic frequencies. Right. It's very vulnerable, and there is one particular expert who highly suspects that these electromagnetic frequencies that are coming from the ultrasounds that are used in uh, in obstetric practice, that that may in fact not just be harming the fetus, but she believes that the autism rates are skyrocketing and have been since its use. Oh, that's interesting. And how often do pregnant women generally have ultrasounds? More than one time, for example, if they, they want to... They ha- some, yeah. Well, you know, something p- people do it. They take pictures. They put it on their cell phone. Mm. You, know, you want to see the baby developing in every stage. And I can understand that. I mean, mm-hmm. this is a miracle. But the reality is this is a form of electromagnetic pollution and I would just cut down to the bare minimum to make sure that everything is healthy and going correctly. This is not to be used as something where you're being entertained or you're entertaining other people right. in terms of look at look at what's developing. Right, that's you know, a very good point. Coming. Sure, leave him alone in the dark, right? Just let him develop and... And, Let uh, them develop yeah. naturally, yes. and, and it scares me in reference to the autism because, interestingly enough, there is one physician, a very uh, enlightened physician that, I've, that I know personally, who found that a pregnant woman's body voltage, as well as the body voltage of children in their bedrooms, was a predictor of autism and other serious neurological disorders. So Interesting. We, we want to be really careful about this. Now, the, the research is not conclusive. Mm-hmm. It's not conclusive with any of this because there's big money in the telecommunications industry Sure, out there. sure. And but, and big, big money. I'm just thinking about, you know, being in, in the nursery, the, the, the baby monitors really need to be away from the crib. I mean, if you want to have them in the room... But, you know, that, that's another thing. You're, you're dealing with wireless technology. The mom is carrying it around, usually in her pocket, exposing her ovaries to the radiation. And the baby has it 
either clipped right onto the crib right next to their head, which is, it seems like a a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Get get it out of there. I mean, get, uh, see if you can get maybe one of the old fashioned varieties that doesn't seem to be as um, is, is potentially damaging as some of these newer varieties. Mm-hmm. I mean, because this is this is operating, you know, as Wi Fi or a cordless phone, and I don't think that these monitors really should be used anywhere near a children near a developing child's head. And you know, there's some countries that believe that children shouldn't be using cell phones until the age of 18 because they're still developing, their, their skulls are thinner, and the radiation can, can penetrate that much deeper. So it's just common sense. If we just yeah. took some time and said, wow, this makes common sense, you know, all of us would be so much more aware and not so blissfully unaware as we seem to be in this day and age because it's an inconvenient truth. Yes, absolutely. Well, let's talk a little bit about ways to... Um to deflect some of these things. And you, you have a recipe, a great recipe in there for salt bath. And does that really help? Well, it's a salt bath that I learned from my mentor, may she rest in peace, the grand dame of alternative medicine uh, in the 1970s. And she worked with some of the um, men that were involved with the Manhattan Project. So, so when we're talking about salt and soda baths, it's really a protective device that she, or a therapeutic mechanism that she developed that helps protect against ionizing radiation, which is different than what we're talking about. We're talking about non-ionizing radiation, which still has a biological impact. I see. Well, t- well define what is, wh- how would you be exposed to ionizing radiation? Through what? The ionizing radiation really packs a very powerful biological punch. That is the radiation that we're all cautious about, whether it's from um, x-rays, CAT scans, or even radar. Mm-hmm. So what the real, um, the real, I, I would say, controversy out there is that we're talking about these other frequencies that are much lower and considerably, they've, they've been considered benign for so many years. They're not ionizing. Mm-hmm. They don't create tissue heating, but they do create, based on many independent scientists who I talk about and qualify, you know, in their peer review, peer review journals, they do affect the cell membrane. They create stress proteins. The cell membrane becomes unglued. You start losing your calcium. Right. Their DNA breaks and problems with permeability of the blood-brain barrier. So they're creating biological changes that need to be rec- recognized and need to be acknowledged. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the superfoods that you mentioned that, that you say will help protect our bodies. Uh, can you give us a few of these that, that you find so great and, and tell us why they are so helpful? Well, you know something? It, it Coffee. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, oh no. <laughs> I mean, that's going to negate every other fat flush book I yeah. ever wrote. <laughs> but in any event, in, in this regard, caffeine is high in caffeic acid, and it has been shown to protect against harmful cell phone radiation very specifically. So Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I have a coffee smoothie, you know, in, in, this, particular, <laughs> in this particular book. Uh-huh. Um, so anything with caffeic acid is really a, a good source. And there's tons of vegetables that you can be using, a lot of your cruciferous veggies, um, be pro Propolis is a source of caffeic acid, uh-huh. uh, so you can use that as a supplement, for example. Um, I would also suggest that tart cherries, a very high source of melatonin, believe it or not, so mm-hmm. put, put that in your pipe and uh, <laughs> do what you can do with some tart cherries to be really creative. Uh-huh. Uh, we've got mushrooms and good old-fashioned olive oil, cranberries that I've written about previously, asparagus, and even artichokes. Um, they're all pretty high in particular types of phytonutrients that have been specifically found to be important for EMF protection. And they're important because they increase the body's production of a very important liver antioxidant known as glutathione, and that is um, diminished by EMF exposure. So you're going to see all the studies, you know, in my book. You'll see my top 71 Oh, no, my top 21 zap-proof superfoods and seasonings. You'll see some terrific recipes. You'll know which minerals are important. And I'll just tell you right now, manganese and selenium, incredibly important in terms of protecting your system against EMFs. Fantastic. Now, how can people get a hold of your book and tell, tell them your website? So, Well, what want... I would like them all to do is to go to Amazon and get the book. Because mm-hmm. you've got to get the book to appreciate that this is not just cell phones we're talking about, right. folks. This is right. the advent of electricity, right. the electric light bulb, and what we can do to, to protect ourselves. So go to Amazon and visit me at ruzapped, which is a definitive statement, dot com. Mm-hmm.
Are you zapped? Yeah, are you zapped.com. And you are. We are all being we, zapped. We are some being zapped. or another. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, um, and if people want to, I interviewed Dr. Magda Havis on my show on October 9th. She talked about Wi Fi specifically in schools and its oh, impact on big, children's big, health. Big issue. Yeah. So if people want to go and listen to that, they can go to my archives on supernatural, your supernaturallife.com radio and get the radio archives. Um, any last words of advice for us? You know something, I think it's all common sense, to be quite honest with you, when you start thinking about it. Uh, I think there's so many easy things you can do in terms of moving around furniture, eating better food, uh, understanding that duration and location are really the two key elements here. It just behooves all of us to learn to zap-proof our homes, our work environments, our kids, ourselves, because I think in that way we're going to have a much healthier and a much more sustainable planet. To be quite honest with you, many experts think that this is the hugest biological experiment ever on human beings. And so, um, and you know, the thing is that pe- they're not scary. they're not talking about it because, as you said, you know, the telecom industry is so huge, and um, people are kind of being kept in the dark. So, people like you who are writing these books, it's fantastic, and, and getting the word out. I think it's just it's fabulous. We have to be live wires in only the best way. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very good. Well, well said. Well, thank you so much for coming back on my show, Anne Louise. Um, I can't wait to read your next book because I know it'll be right on target with the times. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Beth, and, and continued good luck to you. You're a supernatural mom. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for listening today. For podcasts and more information on my show, visit YourSupernaturalLife.com. You can also download the show on iTunes. If you'd like more information about transforming your home into a safe haven, read my book, Supernatural Home, endorsed by Deepak Chopra, John Gray, Dr. Joseph Mercola, and many others. You can find it on Amazon or on my website, supernaturalmom.com. If you type in supernaturalmom.com slash free gift, you can download a free 20-question quiz from my book to help you determine where, when, and how you are unwittingly being exposed to dangerous chemicals from everyday products in your home. Plus, you'll get tips on turning your home into a safe haven with my 10 easy ways to have a supernatural home. Well, now stay tuned for Smart Green Travel with Jerry Hart. We'll see you here next week. We've got a great show and uh, wishing you radiant health and well-being. I'm Beth Greer.